Assalamu alaikum everyone. Greetings from Abu Dhabi, the capital city of United Arab Emirates. In this video, I am delighted to give you a tour of Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. I will be describing the mosque's breathtaking craftsmanship and the source of its amazing array of architecture and design masterpiece. I can't wait to show you what I have in store. Do keep watching to find out what makes this mosque so special. The mosque is open to all visitors. However, it is worth noting there is a strict dress code for anyone visiting the mosque. Modest dress is required for both men and women. Do check the relevant information center for the latest updates. I am now outside Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, which is located at Sheikh Rashid bin Said Street. We came here by bus, which is a cheap fare direct from our hotel. Please note, I came here before the pandemic, so there were no COVID restrictions. Here we have the courtyard, which is paved with white marble tiles and painted floral designs. I understand the size of the complex is equivalent to five football fields. Comment below if you think this could be the most beautiful mosque in the world. This is the largest mosque in UAE, having capacity for over 40,000 worshippers. The mosque is named after late president of the UAE, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayyar. It took 11 years to build between 1996 and 2007. Did you know there are 82 pure white marble domes? The majestic structure is made from marble and gold, with its boundaries surrounded by reflective water features and grass detail cut to precision. There are white marble pillars and columns with mother of pearl engravings. This mosque is known as the White Pearl of the Gulf. You can hear the sound of the birds chirping in the background, which makes you feel at peace and harmony within its vicinity. I was able to see our hotel in the distance. Check out my wife's channel, Masuma's World, for the details. The link can be found below. The symmetry of the columns placed one after another appear to go on as far as the eye can see. As I stand before the mosque, which is illuminated under the bright rays of the sun, reflecting off the flawless white structure, I am captivated by its prominence. There are shelves for placing your shoes in front of the first set of glass sliding doors just outside the main entrance. After removing your shoes and enter, you will see a foyer with a high ceiling. This is the section that leads the visitor into the main prayer area and makes you feel a sense of excitement for what lies ahead. There are orderly queues for entering and exiting the mosque. The foyer is decorated in great detail with floral designs on the marble floor. You can see the inner parts of the central dome made from Moroccan artistry. In the main prayer area inside, you will see beautifully laid Iranian carpets, which are the largest in the world. And you will see intricately designed crystal chandeliers.
The carpet feels so soft and relaxing to walk on, which can reportedly seat over 7,000 worshippers. The chandeliers are made from stainless steel and brass, covered in 24 karat gold. At the centre, you have red and green crystal balls. The chandeliers are decorated by Swarovski crystals. Here you have the Qibla wall, which is the direction Muslims pray towards. This wall is engraved with 99 names of Allah in ancient Kufic script. Behind the calligraphy, you have fibre optic lighting. This is the Mirab and Minbar. The Mirab, which is the prayer niche, is the place where the Imam stands to lead the congregational prayer. The Minbar, which is the pulpit, is where the Imam stands to provide the sermon or Jummah or Friday prayers. This is the ablution area, which is for performing a type of ritual purification called wudu in Arabic. The green marble stones and its circular design provide ample space for multiple people to use the facilities. The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque is known to be the third largest in the world after the mosque in Makkah and Medina, which are in Saudi Arabia. After coming here, I was left in awe. This is what makes the mosque so special and indeed a landmark not to be missed when visiting Abu Dhabi. I hope you found this video enjoyable to watch as much as I found it enjoyable to film. Do feel free to suggest any content you would like me to film in future and press the notification bell icon so you don't miss out. If it's your first time here on this channel, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. To watch my next video of Tunisia's holy Islamic city, click on the link below in the description box.